Good morning, everybody. My name is Rachel. I'm the girl with the Pilates mat and welcome to class. It is lovely to have you here. This morning, we're going to be doing 30 minutes of Pilates with a resistance band. So go ahead, get your bands and let us begin. Okay, so a little experiment for you all. I want you to take your band, widen it out like so, and then place it around the bottom of your ribs. Okay, this is just a little trick I do occasionally to remind myself, so crossing it at the back, remind myself about my Pilates breathing. Okay, so you're going to hold the ends and you're going to pull it quite tight so you can feel it on the bottom of your ribs. Now let's take a breath in through the nose and try and really expand those ribs out to the side. So watch my ribs do this with me. And as you breathe out, pull those ribs towards each other and just pull, tighten your band a little so you can feel how that really is working those core muscles on the body. And again, breathe in, widening the band. Breathing out, drawing those ribs together, feeling everything pulling in internally as well. One more time, breathing in. Breathing out, drawing those ribs together, tightening that band. Okay, now try and hold that feeling and take the band away and bring it in front of you. Okay, so let's have palms up, elbows by your side. Let's start by drawing out on the band, working the shoulders. You're going to exhale to open, inhale to come back. Exhale to open, inhale back. So I want you to keep your elbows close to the side of your body. This is working inside the rotator cuff area of the shoulder joint. Works all the small muscles of the shoulders. Very, very important. All right, we're going to do four, three, two, one. You're going to turn your hands around. You're going to bend your knees, pull your tummy muscles in. So imagine you're just sitting in a high chair. Bring your arms up. Okay. Arms are nice and straight. You're going to pull the band out. That's it. And four. And five. Six. So keep your shoulders down. Seven. Eight. Now hold it out. We're going to do eight little pulses out. So we're going to go out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to repeat that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and come up. Now I want you to breathe in, bring the band all the way up. Breathe out, drop your elbows down, send them out to the side and bring the band just in front of your eyes. Then you're going to come up and lower down. So this is functional work to get those shoulders working nicely. So we're drawing down, so shoulders are pulling down. You can feel your shoulder blades pulling down behind you and down. So you're going to inhale, exhale, pull out on the band. So you can feel it working all your muscles of your arms and shoulders. One more. And pull and lift and lower. Now if you can, and it feels all right, you're going to take the band further back. Same thing. So now the band is going towards the back of the head and up. Now this is really going to depend on your shoulder flexibility. So go with what feels okay for you. That's it. Lift and lower down. Up. Pull out. Lift and lower down. One more. Up. Pull out. Lift and lower down. 
Okay, let's just do a little bit of leg work, warm those legs up, shall we? So I'm going to go slightly sideways, abdominals in. We're going to inhale, bend, reach the hand out, really sit back. Exhale, come up. Inhale, bend and up. So I'm not just holding the band, I am slightly pulling out sideways so I can feel a little bit of tension in the arms and shoulders. All right, we need that resistance to keep our muscles strong. If our muscles are strong, our bones will be strong. And that's what we want. We're going to do four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Now you're going to stay there. Stay there. Lift the arms up a little higher. All right. And now you're going to pull out. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And if you can, you're going to pull out and reach the arms back behind you as far as is comfortable for you. All right, this again will depend on your shoulder mobility. Keep your tummies in, keep in that little squat position so we're working our legs, our glutes, our feet, our ankles, everything. Good. And back. So if you can't go over or if you feel your shoulders lifting, just go as far as you can and then come back down again, okay? Good, last one. Hand back, and up, and over. Now you're gonna go all the way down, take a deep breath in, and exhale, coming all the way up. Well done. Let's step out wide, turn those feet out. Okay, holding onto the band. We're gonna inhale, then lift the band up, exhale down. So I said it was going to be full body, so we are going to work everything today. So you're going to have lots of these combination exercises where we're working everything at the same time. Good. We're going to go four, three, two, one. Now hold it down here. All right, now lift your heel up and place it down. Lift and down. So you're still pulling out on the band. Heel is lifting as well. Tum is in. Lift and lower. Four, four, three, two, or one. Change sides. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then bend a little lower, come all the way up. Well done. Let's roll the shoulders out for three, for two, for one. Well done. Okay, so from here, we're going to take the weight over into this leg. Okay, so we want knee over toes. This leg is straight, pointed out to the side. And then you're going to bring your arms up like so. And then you're going to lean over to the side. All right, so we're working all of the muscles at the same time. It's very challenging. We're going to pull down and up. Pull down and up. Pull. Good. And down and up. Down and up. For three, two, one, now straighten that leg, and then top arm, tricep, out, and out, and out, and out, for four, three, two, one, bend the knees, come down, going over to the other side. Okay, so our foot is parallel, you're facing forward, knee is bent, other leg straight, abdominals in, over to your side and pull down on that band. So don't let your top arm move. That's it, good. Down. Hand down. The band should be going behind your head, 
just in case there's any confusion there. Down. And three. And two. And one. Straighten the leg tricep. So swapping over so you're working that top arm. And two. And three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Bend the knees. Come back over to the other side. So this time you're going to be turned out. You're going to come down so your knee is slightly bent. You're going to tip that over to the side. You're going to pull the bottom arm down. It's going to stay there. And we're going to add the triceps again, but we're going to do little pulses. So we're going to do eight, slow like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now pushing out so you can feel the end range of the movement. Little pulses now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straighten both arms, reaching out. We're still in that side position. We're going to try and lift the leg now. Lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come down and over to the other side. I know, very challenging. So we've got the leg slightly turned out. We're sinking down. We're then tipping over to the side. So lateral flexion. You're pulling that bottom arm down so you can work the triceps. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Hold it in that end range. Pulses for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straighten both arms, reach out, pull out on that band to help you lifting the leg for one, for two, for three, for four, for five, the six, the seven, the eight, come down, oh, and bring those arms down. Okay, shake everything out. Let's come straight down onto the mat. And let's continue with some mat work now. So lie yourself down. And let's have the band back in the hands. So not too wide but a bit wider than your shoulders. I'm just evening up, so I've got an even amount of band there. Okay. All right, so we're going to start holding the band here. We're going to go into our pelvic curl. So you're going to take a breath in, breathe out, pull your abdominals in, tip your pelvis towards you, press into the feet, and as the hips lift, arms are going to go overhead, pressing up there. Now stay there, the arms are not on the floor, they're floating. I want you to pull your hands apart three times. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, pelvic curl back down. So pull your abdominals in, work your way down through the spine. So feel your spine coming down segmentally onto your mat and then bring your arms back. All right, we're gonna do that sequence two more times. So deep breath in. Exhale, tilt the pelvis. Peeling the spine up. Arms go overhead. So push up, feel those bottom muscles working. Now pulling the hands apart for three, for two, for one. Taking a breath in. Breathing out, focus on your spine now as you come down. That's it. 
Bring the arms overhead. One more deep breath in. Breathing out, tilting the pelvis, peeling up off the floor, lifting up, taking those arms overhead. So I want you to lift a little higher with the bottom and try and lower your ribs slightly. So more work of the glutes, hands pulling apart for three, for two, for one, deep breath in, exhale, coming all the way down. Well done. And bring your arms up so they're above your shoulders. Bring your feet and knees together and then into your tabletop position. Spine twist. So we're going to take our knees to the right, our arms to our left. And then exhale to come back up. Other way. Over and up. So you want to feel a little bit of resistance on the band. You're not pulling too hard, but your band is not slack, okay? So there is a constant sort of pull on your muscles, which is what we want. Over and up. Over and up. Last two. Over and up and over and up. Now I want you to pull your knees in towards you, take your band and place it around the bottom of your feet. Okay, so we're going to focus on a little bit of core work. So around the bottom of the feet, I put it around the toes like so. All right, and you can have your hands a bit closer to the feet here. Keep your head down so it's a nice neck safe movement and then what you're going to do is just take a moment to press your spine into the floor take a breath in and as you breathe out press out on the feet so this is working the back of the legs and the bottom and then inhale to come in exhale to press out inhale in exhale to press out and inhale in And in. Now those are the ones who you want to make it a little more challenging on your abdominals. You're going to lift the head up. You're going to press out. And inhale in. Exhale, press out. And inhale in. Exhale, press out. And inhale in. Exhale, press out. Hold it there. And now I want you to try and pull your feet apart in the band. So you're stretching the band out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Bend your knees. Come on in and just take your left foot out of the band, slide it along the floor. Let's have a nice little stretch. If you need to, just adjust your band. Okay, elbows are going to stay on the floor. I want the foot of that left leg flexed. Okay. And then from here, we're going to do a circle. So you're going to take your right leg across the body, circle down, out to the side. Across, down, and out. And this is where the band is wonderful because it can support your legs. So if you're someone with hips that click doing this exercise, this is a nice way to support the hip joint whilst you go work on your mobility. One more. Back the other way. So make the circle as big as you're comfortable with. All right, there's no right or wrong. It's what feels okay for you. Good, we're gonna do two. And one. Well done, bring that leg towards you. Get a nice little stretch. Okay, let's swap legs. 
So left foot in the band, right leg away, right foot flex. So you're stretching out that calf muscle. And then we're going to circle with the left for five, four, three, two, and one. Other way. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Coming up, now you're going to bring the other foot up and put it inside the band as well. So, a little experiment. I tried this when I was working on this class yesterday. So this is the corkscrew movement, which we do in traditional mat work, but a lot of people find very hard. So it's essentially what you just did, but both legs together. So you're going to take both legs over to the right. Think of a smaller circle. Push into the band, circle down, over to the left, and center. Then you go the opposite way. So we go left, push down, over, and center. All right, so push into the band, but you're also supporting the weight of the legs with the feet. Great way to do it if you do have issues with your hip flexors being very tight. Over and down and up. Over and down and up. Last two. Over and down and up and over and down and up well done bend your knees place your feet on the floor and keep the knees bent and i want you to just bring your hands a little bit lower down the band we're going to try and roll up from here using the band so we're going to nod the chin lift the head pulling on the band to bring yourself up. All right, now you're going to take a breath in. Exhale, draw the tummy muscles in, tuck under. Come back down, letting your arms straighten. So you're going to inhale, exhale. So pull the abdominals in, flex. So you're working your biceps, can you see? And then inhale, exhale. So it's a roll up mixed with the bicep curl. I love to mix things up, so that's why we're doing it. So lift, flex, keep pulling the tummy in as you come up, deep breath in. Exhale, and down one more, inhale. Exhale, biceps, inhale, and exhale, back down. Wonderful stuff. All right, so you're gonna roll onto your side, Okay, we're going to do a little bit of work with the side of the body. So, you're going to bend your bottom leg, top leg, band is going to go once again around the foot, like so. Don't worry if your bands ping off, it happens all the time. Okay, and then you're going to be on your elbow. This knee is going to be in line with this hip. That foot is flexed, can you see? And then from there, this is up to you how tight you want that band. The closer and tighter the band, the more it's going to work your bottom muscles. All right. What you're going to do is you're just going to press into that band, keeping the leg in line with the hip. Inhale, bend in. So the best way is, can you see, band is underneath the knee. Press out. And then look at your foot and work on your alignment as well. So you want to end up with your heel in line with your hip. And that, so you're really working. Ooh, I can feel that, the bottom muscles. You want to work them harder, go tighter. All right, not so hard, you want a looser band. Good, we're going to do four and three and two. And one. Now hold it there. Keep a good grip on your band, but reach the band back. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Again, you're working 
the glutes. We're going to do little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, come in. Let's bring ourselves around. Let's do a quick stretch before we do the other side. So take that foot over, sit your bottom cheek down. Oh, I can feel that. I was practicing yesterday and oh, I can feel the work. So hand around, lifting up, and then a nice little rotation. So you're really stretching up those muscles you've just been working. Fabulous. Okay, let's do the other side. So band around the foot. Reaching that leg out, coming onto the elbow. And remember, band goes underneath the knee and then holding on with two hands, I always think is better. Okay, so a little bit of alignment work. So you're trying to get, make sure you're not rolling back. So get this hip above the bottom hip, knee in line with the hip and then pressing out, aiming to feel it in the back of the leg. You may feel a little on the side of the leg as well because we are using your abductor muscles to hold the leg in that position. Keeping an eye on your foot so you've got good alignment. That's it. And we're going to do four and three and two and one. Now hold that position, keep that height and go back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to add eight more pulses. I think we're going to go two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, come all the way up, little stretch, so cross that foot in front, sit this bottom cheek down, oh yes, that's good, opposite arm around, lift and rotate, fabulous, all right, we must work the back as well, so this will be our last exercise, coming onto your front, Okay, let's have the band spread out. Okay, you want your arms in a wide V, so slightly wider than the mat, I find uh, will help. Enough so you can reach the band out. And then you're gonna take it overhead behind you, turn your hands once, so you're gripping onto the band, okay? Bring your legs together. And we're gonna do the double leg kick. So you're going to do three passes of the leg. One, two, three. You're then going to reach the legs out. You're going to reach the arms out and you're going to pull outwards on the band to lift. And then lower down. Kicking for one, two, three. Lift. Pull the band out. Release. And lower down. One, two, three. Extend, reaching up, pull the band out and lower down. One, two, three. Reach the legs out. Come up, up, up. Well done. And lower down. From there, uncurl those hands, bring the band back overhead and you're going to stay in that wide position. Okay, and we're going to try and do a little bit more extension. All right, so slightly separate your feet. And then I want you to lift the arms up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up there and try and lift your back now. Lift, eight, and seven. Breathe in as you lift, makes it a lot more easy to access the back extension. I always find anyway. 
left, left, left. One more, left. Take the arms back. Well done. Place the band across your waist, hands under your shoulders. Push yourself up into a little kneeling position. And then just put your hands on each end of the band here. So the band is just on the back of the waist. Okay, so you can just feel that little bit of connection. Take a breath in, breathe out, pull the tummy in, press the spine into the band and try and get that deep flexion in your lower back. And then inhale to go back the other way. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale to go the other way, last one. Exhale to tuck under. Inhale, back the other way. Well done. And then from there, I want you just to sit back. Just pop the band off to one side. Widen those knees and then just walk your hands forward. And we're gonna finish here. So take your head down. If you want to, you can rest on one cheek. So turn your head whichever side feels nice for you. Getting that last little stretch through the body. And then just be very proud of yourself for coming today, for taking your class for taking care of yourself and in your own time, bring yourself back up. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed that class. Please do press the like button. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And do join me again for some more wonderful Pilates. I'm here every Friday live at 10 a.m. and every Monday live at 4 p.m. Those are UK times, so if you're not in the UK, please do check uh, how the time lines up for you. And every live I do, you can find under the live section of my, uh, on my homepage. So really hope you enjoyed it. As it's live, I do uh, give you this opportunity to ask me any questions you want about your Pilates practice. So if you need to do that, you're here with me live, stay there because I'm gonna come and chat to you now. And if you need to go, we'll have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Well done, everyone. Oh, I hope that was good for you today. Uh, certainly enjoyed that one. It was quite a strong class for us all. Um, I'm trying to, uh, because this is part of my 30 day January 2024 challenge, uh, today is, let me remind myself, today is day 19. So you are, oh, you're nearly two thirds through now. I'm giving you a balance now of work that is really quite powerful and strengthening with shorter workouts in between. All right, so tomorrow you've got a cardio class and on Sunday you've just got a five minute stretch and then we're back on Monday. Monday is going to be a 40 minute full body Pilates class. That's going to be very much in the style that I teach when I teach live in person. So if you want a very traditional uh, Pilates class, then do come along on Monday or do check it out when we're there. Um, Tell me how you're doing. Those of you doing the challenge, how are you doing? I would love to know. So do let me know um, uh, whether you're feeling the difference already. I know some of you have been a little bit sore, so I'm putting in some stretches and stuff like that as well. But yes, do let me know. So I'm going to come straight onto the chat now. Um, and just a little reminder, super stickers you can purchase at the bottom of the chat. Look for the smiley face. That's where you can buy a super sticker. That money goes to YouTube and then to me and it supports what I do. So I do not have an app. I don't charge at all for anything that I do. That is, includes answering maybe 300 emails, messages I get every week. It's a lot of work. I'm really happy to do it. 
but the exchange for that is if you're able to donate, I really do appreciate it. It's what keeps this channel going and makes sure that it stays available for everyone to benefit. And that's the idea. I want everyone to benefit from uh, the fitness and well-being that I offer. The other way you can donate is via my creator page on Ko-fi. On Ko-fi, what I write on there is original. It's from me. It's exactly what I'm feeling, thinking at the time. It doesn't go out on any other media that's the most sort of uh, closest source to kind of what's going on with me is on Ko-fi. I give you a little bit of insight into my life. Uh, so if you're interested in all of that, that's on my Ko-fi page, uh, which you can join and you can set up a subscription. And I am asking now that if you can, I would really love it if you could do a, a monthly donation or set up a regular monthly donation on that page. You can stop at any time. Uh, you can change it at any time. But again, that's the money I use to keep this channel going, to buy all this equipment. Uh, and since I last saw you, you can't see it, but I had to buy one of these. Let me see if I can lift it up without changing the settings. Can you see this funny little box here? But I've got this little box and this is how I operate everything now. It wasn't cheap, but it means that I can sort of do the camera from this side of the screen. I can do all kinds of other clever technical things. So that's, what, uh, that's where the money goes. It goes into keeping this channel going, allowing me to broadcast to you live and as you know there isn't really anyone else doing live pilates at the moment so that's why i do it so you are accountable you can come see me every week you know i'm going to be here right now for that on to the chat yvonne thorpe thank you so much yvonne for your donation i can see that you're a big fan of the resistance band workouts well how was today for you I did think about you, Yvonne, because I know you love these classes, so I wanted to give you a few new movements that we did today. So hopefully that corkscrew one was an interesting one for you. And all the movements I do, everyone, they are all based in Pilates or dance because I trained as a dancer from the age of three. I did it professionally. I was not a ballet dancer. I trained in classical ballet but I couldn't get into ballet school because I was too tall, because I am, I am quite tall. So uh, in those days, you had to be five foot four or under, and I'm five foot nine, so I couldn't get into school. So I did commercial work. I worked in a lot of shows in Europe. Uh, I also did work in the UK. I then got a knee injury, uh, which meant that I couldn't do that kind of level of professional work and went into a different, uh, different career. But many years later, I found Pilates. So I've been doing Pilates now 25, I think, years. Uh, and I've been teaching it for 13, coming up 14, actually. So I've got a, a lifetime of movement behind me. And I put my creative dance head on when I'm doing my exercises. So I've got Pilates in there, and it's contemporary Pilates but I try and choreograph things so the movements become really interesting for you and your body is always challenged to move in a different way. It's all functional work, so it's always gonna be good for you, but it also helps keep things fresh for you and for me as well. Uh, so thank you very much, Yvonne. Terry says it's three degrees here in Scotland, but has been minus eight during the week. Goodness me, Terry. Well, I hope you are nice and warm. Uh, hello to Diane McFadden. Diane says, morning, everyone. My new baby granddaughter is sleeping, so I'm able to join the session on this cold, frosty morning. How lovely. That's a lovely picture, Diane. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Amy Lockwood says, good morning from the Northeast US. It's very early and chilly here. Oh, my goodness. You are up very early, Amy. I'm very, very impressed. Well done. Hello to Robin Newcomb, who says, morning, everyone. Very chilly here in Switzerland again, too. Uh, hello to Jasmine from Rottingdean uh, in Sussex. Hi, Jasmine. Lovely to see you. Says, lovely and sunny, but nippy. Yes, it's very nippy, isn't it, Jasmine? Uh, Carolyn Hawkgren says, working a trade show, so I'm going to miss the live, but I'm looking forward to doing it later this weekend. It's so lovely to see these American uh, friends of ours coming on live. I'm so impressed with how early you get up in the morning. Well done. Uh, morning to Ron. Hello, Ron. How are you? I hope you enjoyed the class. 
Uh, right, good morning to Leslie Matin. Leslie, thank you so much for your donation. Leslie, I know, is a big, big Pilates fan because she does local classes and then she does this class as well over the weekend. Uh, so good morning to you. You did similar exercise today with the band, brilliant, and you're gonna enjoy this tomorrow, wonderful. Great to hear from you, Leslie. Hi to Susan Eisenbach, good morning, Susan. Uh, lovely to see you here, thank you so much. Uh, for your donation. Much, much appreciated. Uh, Oriental Rose, that's Jasmine in Rottingdean says, wow, I want to do resistance bands all the time now. Can I ask where you got those pink resistance bands and where you get your outfits? So um, the bands, uh, Jasmine, come from this company. Uh, let me see if I can hold it up for you in the screen. Can you see? Core Steady. I think there might be a link actually on my on this video if not don't worry but I basically went on Amazon if you go on Amazon and put uh, resistance bands light this is a two meter band okay this is a two meter band and yes I love the color I love to match things to my outfit so um, but actually for what we do today we use a light band the reason we use a light band is because it's much better for the shoulder work yeah, you don't want to be using a really heavy band when you're working with the, all the intrinsic muscles of the shoulder. But also using a light band on the legs means your abdominals do work harder. So it gives you those two benefits. Okay, so that's the band. And the outfit I'm wearing is, uh, they're both actually, um, they're both sweaty vetti. And the older outfits, I, I generally buy my stuff in the sales because it's so expensive to get from any, any fitness brand. Uh, so these are um, both Sweaty Betty outfits, uh, Sweaty Betty items, which I go on sweatybetty.com uh, and I look at what's in the sale. That's how I work, that's how I roll. Um, I think that's growing up in a very, uh, very hard situation. We had no, no money at all growing up. Most of my stuff we got from jumble sales, charity shops, which is cool these days, but you know, um, 50 odd years ago, it wasn't cool. You were just poor. <laughs> so I'm used to looking for bargains. So I always go and look at what's in the sales. And this time of year, everyone, it's a really good time to get your fitness wear. Uh, it's when I do most of my kind of fitness shopping is I look through all the sales, all the clearance stuff of all the brands. Do try and buy sustainable, everyone. I highly recommend it. Uh, I have been approached by a few fitness brands, um, one of whom uh, does all sustainable clothing. So if I get any offers from them, I will pass them on to you. Uh, but I'm in talks with somebody at the moment about that. Uh, so anyway, I hope that helped you, Jasmine. Uh, Anne Fenton, hello Anne, says, great session, my band broke. Oh, we'll get a new one on immediately. Yes, the bands do break, everybody. It's natural that they, they break down. Uh, the other thing to think about with a band is try and keep it out of the sunlight and away from heat. They will last longer that way. So don't leave them on a radiator, uh, you know, and also don't leave them scrunched up. You kind of, well, I would tend to hang mine over the back of a chair or put it on a hanger in your wardrobe or something like that, and it will last longer but they will break because they do break down. So yeah, maybe time for a new one, Anne. Uh, Marion Wilkes says, I'm so sad after all that time, I can't do that roll up and down. Even the band did not help. Don't worry, Marion, don't be sad. It's fine. It just means that that is not for you. It's not a problem, not a problem. And uh, as I've said, I think on my Instagram yesterday or the day before, uh, what I really, really want to help you all with, and I am in danger of doing this as well myself, is uh, sometimes, is don't compare yourself to somebody else. Your body is your body, and it is unique, and it is special, and it is amazing. And you have to learn to help your body to work with your body, all right? So never be angry, never be frustrated. Try and just do your best and feel your way and get more in tune with your body and see what it's telling you, what does it need? Does it need more stretching? Does it need more strengthening? I know that sounds really strange, but it's like 
is something I had to work on when I was much younger and a dancer. I was always angry at myself if I couldn't do something and someone else could do it. And all that did was hurt me. It didn't hurt anybody else. It hurt me up here. And that's why this challenge that we're doing this January is as much about your mental and emotional health as your physical health. Because if you're unhappy up here, it does translate into your body and how your body feels, how your body reacts to things. All right, it may be you're someone who's very tense or very anxious. All of this plays out in how our body deals with movement. So what I want to say to you, Marion, and everyone else watching, is embrace your body, embrace it, be happy that it is what it is, right? Because it's the only one you're ever going to have. So take care of it and take care of this as well, all right? And Marion, you just do what you can. You use the band. The band is a wonderful tool. I have people who do my Zoom classes on Wednesday who ha all have their own way of doing the roll-up. And many of them can't do it, but they find a way to do it so it works for their body. And that's the most important thing. Okay, and you're still working your core, Marion, so don't worry. Uh, Robin, uh, oh, sorry, Diane McFadden has donated. Thank you so much, Diane. Much appreciated. Uh, Robin Newcomb says, a question, please, Rachel. Doing the corkscrew, my back was arching quite high. A tip, please, to correct that. Loving the challenge, feeling stronger and fitter. Wonderful. Okay, Robin, I shall demonstrate for Robin and anybody else on the corkscrew. So the corkscrew is a big, big exercise in terms of core. Okay. And my tip would be, so if you watch my back, I'm going to exaggerate. The lower you, your legs go, if you're not engaging your core, the more your back arches. Can you see my back is off the floor? Now, if I engage my core, so I'm going to pull my abdominals in and I'm going to do it so much that I tip back so I flatten onto the floor, that's where you want to be. Now, if you can't do that with your legs here, then what you need to do is bring your legs up, pull your tummy in and get to find the place where you can have your back flat on the mat and your legs in the air. And then you just do a smaller movement. All right, because it may be that these bigger movements are too much right now and you need to make it smaller. And again, with the corkscrew, the most important thing is the engagement of the core. So the breath pattern is inhale, you go to the right. Exhale, that's when you pull in, flatten the back. Really work that core, as you can hear in my voice. And then come back up. Inhale left. Exhale. And up. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right. Often it means uh, when the back is arching, it's generally uh, an indication that you're not engaging the core or you've forgotten to engage the core. Uh, so do that first. And if you can't do it in a certain position, then that means the position needs to be modified, whether that's a smaller range of movement or bending of the legs, whatever you need to do to get that engagement. Because always, 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 the most important thing is that you are engaging your core. Not that you're doing some big fancy exercise. It's that you have got this controlling this so you've got that core engagement all right that's the most important thing thank you for that question robin excellent question uh marion wilk thank you so much for your donation on kofi much appreciated uh paula sylvester says when there's too much snow here to get to the gym then it's perfect to work at home with you bit tricky today but i loved it as always oh thank you for that paula where are you where there's lots of snow? Do tell. Uh, Yvonne Thorpe loved the class. Wonderful. Thank you, Yvonne. Anne Fenton has donated. Thank you very much. And Carol Neath has also donated. Good morning, Carol. Lovely to see you here. Uh, Mavis Price says, <coughs> excuse me, love this class. The bands help to keep the body in the correct position. I'll donate on Kofi later in the day. Thank you. Thank you as well. Very much, Mavis. Sandy McClure. Good morning, Sandy. Thank you very much indeed for your donation. Carol Nee says, morning, everyone. Amazing session, Rachel, with the bands. 
Uh, absolutely love the bands. Glad to hear that. Uh, Martin de Kerpel says, I was good indeed. My right hip did not click in the leg circles, but the rolling still does not work, so I'm adapting. The challenge is working well. I was not sore. I lifted my leg all the time. Wonderful stuff. Rona Stevens, thank you very much as well. Uh, Sue Sandwell says, thanks Rachel, I do like a resistance band. Also small ball. Sue, we've got a small ball coming uh, very soon in the 30 day challenge playlist. All right, so do have a look for that. I was working all that out last night. Uh, so the idea is we're on day 19. And my plan is in the last uh, seven days of the playlist, I'm going to put lots of equipment based workouts in. So you'll see a band workout, you'll see a ball workout, you'll see a magic ring workout, you'll see a wor workouts with weights. Uh, next week we are doing weights. Let me just double check that because I've got so many things going on at the moment. I keep forgetting where I am in my uh, in my lineup of things. So yes, uh, next week we're doing standing full bodies, full body workout with weights. And that's whatever weights work for you, but I'm gonna recommend a smallish, I'm just looking for them, I can't see them right now. I think I packed them away. Small weights, one to two kilos each, nothing more than that, because we're gonna be doing, again, standing and strengthening work. Uh, Carol Nee says, I could actually do the corkscrew using the bands without my back arching result. Yay, Carol. So glad to hear that. It's wonderful, isn't it, how all these traditional exercises, you can adapt them and make them work. And I'll bet you're fine, Carol, that if you do that uh, on a regular basis, get into that, when you go to do it without the band, you'll find it easier because you'll understand your body will have got that, we call it muscle memory in dance, you will have got that muscle memory drilled into your body. So excellent work. Terry, thank you so much for your donation. Ron says, thank you for a very nice workout. You're welcome, Ron, thank you too. Uh, Madeline Woodhead says, love doing the challenge and all on track, determined to complete, certainly feeling the benefit. I love that, Madeline. Well done. Well done indeed. That is excellent work. Marion says, thanks for you cheer, uh, cheering us up. You're welcome, Marion. Yes, yeah, stay positive. Really stay positive there. Uh, Mark Berman says, gosh, this was good. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Robin Newcomb says, thank you for that. I'm going to practice and check how I'm doing it and correct. Yeah, do that. Um, excellent work. Um, Terry says, last thing I'm going to read out today. Terry says, I really like your advice, re-embracing your own body and doing everything at your own pace. I really agree and think it's very important to think in this manner. I modified where needed. Isn't that wonderful, everyone? That is Perfect. Terry, thank you so much for that. Really wonderful. So I'm going to say goodbye now. So remember, I'll be back on Monday with a live and you'll, you'll get that reminder come up shortly. I'll also be back next Friday with a live. And if you can keep going with the 30 day playlist, you really are getting near the finish line. And I can promise you there is light and shade in what's coming up. You're going to have some very challenging workouts and you're going to have some that you don't even notice. They're so quick, they're gone. All right, so just keep going one session a day uh, for the rest of January to the 30th of January. And then we're all going to have a lovely February back to our kind of regular schedule. All right. So you look after yourselves. Uh, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.